And if the foundation be removed, what will happen to the people? Lord, give them the courage to stand up against all alien desires. Give them the courage, Lord, to not fall prey to the people's desires, but, Father, to hold up the values of what a holy God says that we should be and that we should be holy as thou art holy. Oh, Father, bring to mind, oh, Father, that it is our responsibility and the government's responsibility to ensure that our children are trained with proper values. Because upon those values, a country will rise or fall. Oh, Father, bless the people. Bless the people, oh, Father, with a consciousness to place holy people in office. People who are not afraid to stand up and to stand up and talk about a God that can save us all. Yes. Lord, we need you. Right. Lord, we need you. Yes. Like no other time before. Breathe fresh on us. Breathe fresh on this country. On our officials. And Father, let your peace reign from sea to shining sea. For you are the one that's able to keep us from falling. As we lift you up this day, Lord, we give you the glory. We count the victory in Christ Jesus' name, for we know you'll do it. If we trust in you and hold on to you and stand on your name, Lord, you'll do it. You don't need a crowd. You just need a few holy people who will stand and lift you up and say, thank you. Now, Lord, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray, and the people of God say amen. 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 And amen. 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 Now, last month at our ministerial association meeting, something was said about making sure that we didn't pray too long. But I told Reverend Tooks a few minutes ago that since he was the first on the list, he didn't have to worry about it. <laughs> that the fellas at the end, if there was any time constrictions, it could be placed on them. I like to hear this man pray, don't you? Amen. Yeah. I want to read a couple of verses of Scripture to you this evening. And Joshua 1 and 9, where the children of Israel are about to go into the promised land and take the promised land. And the Lord is speaking to Joshua to tell the armies of Israel what they're to do and how they're to do it. And he says, this is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. And then in Psalms 91, verses 5 through 6, the Scripture says, Do not be afraid of the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we just come to you today thankful, Lord, that in times past our nation has obeyed your command to be strong and courageous. And our military forces have shown themselves to be courageous in defeating our many enemies. And Lord, you were with us because we were careful to obey all of your instructions and we meditated on your word day and night. And we did not turn to the right or 